Question, should federal unemployment bonus checks continue? Congress passed new COVID stimulus legislation earlier this spring. It extended the $300 supplemental payments through early September 2021. Well, Congressman Jim Hagedorn took issue with that and took to the Twitterverse with his thoughts yesterday. He penned a letter signed by some Minnesota GOP colleagues urging Governor Tim Walz to forego the $300 federal unemployment supplemental payments. He calls the cash a disincentive to return to work. Former Rochester City Council member Michael Wojcik responded to Hagedorn's tweet, tagging Governor Walls and asking him to not end the payments. This is a publicity stunt for Congressman Hagedorn. That's all this is. And he is in a position of power. And one of the things that could help both businesses and people is let these unemployment benefits be portable for people who are going back to work, but not getting the wages and not getting the hours. Now, late today, I reached Congressman Hagedorn in Washington for a brief Zoom call. Hagedorn and his Republican colleagues maintain that with over 100 million Americans now fully vaccinated and positive case numbers dropping, it is time for the governor to relinquish emergency powers and allow the economy to, as the congressman put it, roar back to life. And right now we have 100,000 jobs that are open in our economy. And you can talk to businesses, large, small, in between, they're looking for skilled labor, unskilled labor. They just need folks to return to work. So we think this would be the best thing to do for uh, you know, the governor for our state. You heard the congressman. He says that in Minnesota, total unemployment compensation is as much as $26 an hour or more than $50,000 per year.